What's up, fam? Thank y'all for tuning in once again. And as always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, hit that notification bell so every time I drop a video, you will be the first to know about it. Man, let's get into the simp of all simp stories. Oh, man. God, I hate doing stuff like this, but I like it too. But I'm sure there's a teaching moment in this here somewhere. So let's get to this. Uh, this is from the Daily Mail. You already know how I feel about the Daily Mail. It says, man sues woman for, I'm going to say, 2.26 million U.S. dollars for emotional trauma in Singapore after she refused to be his girlfriend following four years of friendship. Let me say something about these cats from over, over in these other, these other countries, like the Indian countries, the Asian countries. You know, I noticed that, you know, the older guys, are, you know, when you see these individuals, they have submissive wives, you know. Uh, you know, when they walk down the street, one is behind the other. I think she'll be in the front, he'll be behind while her walking with his hands behind his back, walking in the pace while she walks up front with the kids or her mom or whoever the case may be. Uh, supposedly, you know, these relationships are just, you know, some of the perfect relationships that we should all strive to be. But I have seen... Let me see, I saw a video in particular that disturbed me a few weeks ago. It was about a young guy who proposed to a young lady, it was like on camera, and she rejected his proposal. This simp, tyrant, as you would say, weasel of a man, stomped and beat this girl senseless because she rejected him. When I say stomp, I mean, he beat her. She tells she knocked out, he kicked her. It looked like he kicked her in the face, you know, and she was out. Then had the nerve, I guess, to try to pick her up and like hold her while she's like limp. I think he broke bones and stuff like this, all because she said no to him. So it tells me that for some reason, them cats over there are not as emotionally strong as they put themselves out there to be. This is why sisters, you need to stick to the brothers because we do have some kind of, especially us in the South, we got some kind of compassion. Most of us do, some of us don't. Some of us, you know, symptoms and all that. But anyway, let's get to the story, okay? It said the man sued the woman for uh, 1.9 million in Singapore. I guess 1.9 must be like the euro dollars or whatever. But in this country, it's 2.26. Now, about this story. When I read this story on other websites, they just said that he sued her for like emotional distress, and you know, because because it it what they say it ruined his stellar relationship. So it makes you thought like he was just more of a simp than what he really is, but. Like I said, go to the Daily Mail, read this story, and it broke down, broke it down in better details, not just to show that he's a, you know, I mean, he's bad guy and everything, and like I said, he's sorry and terrible, whatever, but, you know, I don't want to make him more of a simp than what he already is. It's, it's already bad enough. He don't need no help, right? So I said, a woman had, okay, a woman has sued, a man has sued a woman for, like I said, 1.9 million in Singapore over, quote, emotional trauma after she refused to be his girlfriend following the pair's four-year friendship. K. Kashigan, a director at Drone Company D1 Racing, which means he, you know, probably got a little coin in his pockets, filed two lawsuits against Nora Tan Sumi after she rejected him, alleging her actions damaged his, quote, stellar relationship and cause him to lose at least five business partners. Now, see, like I say, if you read the other articles, it just say damage his stellar relationship. So you thinking like he's a player, he's a pimp, he's a playboy, and she rejected him. Like goes against his every moral fiber fabric of whatever that he's made of, and it hurt him so bad he had to sue her. No, it's because he was saying that he lost some business deals because he knows he she ruined his reputation like that. So I kind of understand what he's saying on that, but still. You know, read the story, you see, the story is still retarded, ignorant, stupid. Miss Tan has filed a countersuit in which she is seeking money that she says she spent on securing her home from Mr. 
Kashigan and on counseling sessions. Counseling sessions. The woman says she had to install a digital door viewer and alarm sensor and a smart video doorbell to protect herself from the unwanted suitor and is seeking about 900, that's like, what is it, 900 euro dollars, I guess, in total to cover the cost of equipment and future counseling. Well, she's not even trying to go out to like big money. She just want, want, want her money recouped, that's all. So she, so she more, well, they say women are more mature than some do. God, this, you know, this kind of proves it. This is one case. According to Channel News Asia, a magistrate's court judgment published on January 28th shows that Mr. Kashigan filed two lawsuits against Ms. Tan after their friendship broke down when she told him that she only saw him as a friend. He initially sued Ms. Tan for 22000 Singapore dollars, claiming she breached an agreement to improve their relationship. But this was thrown out by the magistrate's court, which called an abuse of process. I mean, come on, dude, really? So basically, you saying that y'all was friends, and then she said y'all would get closer, and who knows, maybe say, yeah, maybe one day. She probably said, we'll see where it goes. That's probably what she said. We'll see where this, where this ends up. Now, he's probably done spent money on her for four years, done so much stuff for her. They ain't get into that part. I'm quite sure if you go into court, you know, they go to court, that'll probably be brought up, probably spent all kind of money on her, and now after four years, she said, oh, I just see you as a friend. So he got shaded like a lot of people, a lot of men get. And now he's upset. But instead of beating her and putting his hands on her and doing something violent, it's going to take her to court. And it'll probably get thrown out. So then all they're going to do is have dudes like, well, hell, they're going to get thrown out. What else can I do? Uh, now, however, Mr. Kashigan is suing Ms. Tan for three million, three million Singapore dollars in the Singapore High Court for a variety of damages he claims she caused him, including trauma he suffered when she told him she only saw him as a friend. Lord have mercy. I don't even know what to say. I can't. Andy Griffin, there was a show back in the day called Andy Griffin. I still watched the reruns. And one time it was a boy on there who was acting up, new to town, trying to get the kids to do bad stuff. You know, he from the big city, so all the little kids were, you know, just at all of him. Everything he said or did, they, they wanted to go with it. And I think he was telling Opie how to. Uh, no, no, that's a different boy. You know what? He's telling Opie how to, you know, if you, if you don't get what you want, throw a tantrum, you know, throw a fit, and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, what? Little boy tried to throw a fit, and Sheriff Taylor, little boy had his dad. His daddy come in there trying to get the bike away from the sheriff because the boy was riding a bike on the sidewalk and wasn't supposed to. So the boy threw a fit and was like, throw my daddy in jail, blah, blah, I don't care. He'll show you. And they're like, what? You want your daddy to go to jail? Yeah, I want my yeah, I want my daddy to go to jail because I want my bike. And then the daddy was like, you know what? Don't worry about it. Give me the bike. I'm going to sell it. And the boy started had a whole tantrum. But anyway, long story short, the dad took the boy to the back to give him a whooping. And then Sheriff Taylor asked his boy, does he want to say anything? He got anything to say to him? Opie say, I'd rather not, well, since, because he's one of my own, so I can't say nothing bad about him. Paraphrase. So, that's almost how I feel here. He, he's another guy, and it's like, ah, I don't want to say nothing bad about him, because he's a guy. But, dude, again, Stories like this shows me that certain individuals that we thought were strong emotionally because of what we see on TV and videos and stuff really aren't. Because you know how many times that I've probably been rejected, you know, growing up. And oh, uh, been oh, a girl, you know, break up with me. Or a girl might cheat on me, you know, and it hurts. But I don't sit there and say I'm going to sue her because she hurt my feelings. She called me emotional distress. Dude, you grown. You like in your 20s. I think what, what the story say. Like Judge Joe Brown say, uh, dude, you need to man up. 
Uh, a Singapore High Court listing says the case is scheduled for February 9th. The pair met in 2016 and became friends. It is understood that they were both members of the Rotary Club of Bugis Junction. However, Miss Tan said the friendship began to fall apart when they became misaligned about how they saw the relationship. Miss Tan said she told Mr. Karshigan that she saw him only as a friend, but that he considered her his closest friend. Miss Tan later said she wished to reduce their social interactions. Mr. Karshigan Kashigan, who is director at Drone Racing Company, D1 Racing, has accused Miss Tan of defamatory conduct against him in June 2019 and December 2020. He says she made false allegations and other parties present overheard their conversation. He claimed Miss Tan told him he was feeling harassed by his actions, but it must have been because she went and bought cameras because you were standing there, which, uh, which includes standing in her in her way at a doorstep. Mr. Koshigan also claims she defamed him by stating loudly he is unnecessarily serving court documents to me personally and he has had not tried other ways available to him. So basically, she said you're irrational because you could have got your lawyer to do it, a notary or somebody to come serve the papers, but you want to do it yourself. Why? Because you want to see her. Because you're emotionally stirred because y'all were friends for four years and you probably gave her so much money and bought her so many things and she gave you nothing. And then when you wanted to turn it up, she said, uh, all I see us as friends, can we continue to be friends? Uh -huh. Can you continue to take me out to eat? Uh -huh. You know, stuff like that. And you got tired of being played, so now you want your money back. <sighs> he also claimed that he lost five business partnerships as a result of the ongoing disagreements and that he has now struggled, he now struggles to win new clients. In a countersuit, uh, Ms. Tan does not large parts of Mr. Koshigan's claims according to the news outlet. She said they began to have arguments and different opinions and different opinions which damaged their relationship. This is when she asked to have less communication and meeting with him and she said she told Mr. Koshigan that they were only friends that he asked her to clarify the state, when he asked her to clarify the state of the relationship. After this she said she did not respond to mediation requests. Hold on. He said in 2020, she saw the man stand outside her door saying that he had filed court documents against her. So basically, he do what you showing your emotional side. I wonder if he, I wonder if he grew up with a daddy. I wonder if he grew up with a baby mom. Uh, she also said that he was con she was contacted by a woman claiming to be Mr. Koshigan's counselor. Ms. Tan said she participated in joint counseling sessions with Mr. Koshigan and the woman until May 2021. And that's silly on her part. What the hell she go to counseling with him for? For what? Y'all are not boyfriend and girlfriend. Y'all are not married. Y'all just friends. I ain't never heard no crap like this. She she got to blame herself for that one. Uh, similarly, she agreed to take part in joint healing sessions. Then that started in 2021 and ran until May 2022 after she was contacted by someone claiming to be Mr. Kashigan's healer. Then it do how uh, Mr. Koshigan high court suit was filed when Ms. Tan said she did not want to speak to him any longer, which she reported said forced him to escalate. Ms. Tan said she was later, con she was later contacted by a journalist about a high court case having also been sent e emails from people claiming to be Mr. Koshigan's lawyers. She also said he turned up outside her house in July 2022 with a woman and refused to leave when she told him to. Much of this, much of this she said, was intent to cause her harassment and distress and to force her into communicating with him. Her lawyers all are using the fair comment de defense over her supposedly def def defamatory comments, CNA said. Here's the thing, fellas. <sighs> Got no one to walk away. She don't want you. I'm going by your business. You're about, to wait a lot. You're about to waste a lot of money on court fees because lawyers, they, oh, you pay them, they will file any kind of lawsuit that you want. And the courts will take many, any kind of lawsuit that you file so they can put money in the courts. It is what it is. It is not that serious. I don't want my brothers in, the, in America to think about taking this route because this is very simple. This is... This is beyond simple. This has got to be more emotional than a female could ever be. But they say some guys can be emotional like that. That's why you don't want your man emotional. You want him to stay 
calm, cool, collective, and be the leader, and you know, and, and, and know how to uh, critically think. Because going through stuff like this, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it at all. But anyway, uh, I just want to tell this story because it's a funny story. It's in sad, all in the same breath. Dude, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, Mr. Kaushigan. I ought to be ashamed of yourself. Shouldn't let woman, brother, you got an engineer. Well, probably, maybe, maybe they have a lot of engineers out there. Maybe he's just one of them of a bunch. So, you know, he has to, if he gets one, gets him a nice young lady, he got to do everything he can to keep him. But in reality, dude, there are billions of women, billions of women out there. You're an engineer or you help run a company, especially a drone company. I'm uh, quite sure you can find another young lady. The problem is you're waste, you feel just a waste of four years of your life trying to groom this woman. I mean, did you talk to her parents? I mean, you from that, you know, you from the Mid East, so if you got to go to their parents to, you know, to, to, to the validate relationships and ask for hands and marriages and stuff like that, I'm, I'm like I'm missing something in this story, but I'm sure more will come out later. But anyway, tell me what you think about this simp story. Leave a comment below and then share it with the world. And with that being said, I leave you in peace. And I'll see you on the other side.